A question that people ask me periodically is, what kind of tools do I bring out on my boat with me? And I think it's a really good question. And it's one that a lot of people have very strong opinions about. Matter of fact, I actually recently did a poll on my channel where I asked people what kind of tools they bring on their boat. And I'll share the results of that poll in a little while. I know there's some people out there who believe in following one of those scout mottos, you know, about always being prepared. And I respect that. However, my personal experience is that you can't be prepared for everything. You really even can't be prepared for most things. In many of my other videos, I talk about my bucket of tools. Here's my bucket of tools right here. What I do is when I'm coming out to work on my boat, I bring my bucket of tools out with me that I preload with all the tools that I think I'm going to need while I'm working on my boat. All that does is help reduce the number of trips I have to climb out of my boat and walk back over to my garage to get more tools. It doesn't eliminate those trips, it just reduces them. Because inevitably, I am going to have to walk back and grab a few more tools from the garage before I finish the job. I'd basically have to bring uh, a second boat along <laughs> to have all of the tools and spare parts that I might need out there on the water. And a lot of times when I'm under pressure, I can't accurately or correctly diagnose what's going wrong with my boat at the time. Because one of the things that I know about myself is that when I'm out there and I'm on the water and something goes wrong that I do tend to panic and a bunch of things go through my head. And sometimes I'm not thinking as clearly as I could be about diagnosing the actual problem. I can think through stuff and I can figure it out, but it takes me some time. And when you're out there on the water and your boat's not running, time sometimes is not on your side. And so for me personally, a better use of my time is getting the boat somewhere safe, dropping the anchor, and seeking out help. Because quite frankly, I'd hate nothing more than to spend a few hundred dollars trying to buy a bunch of spare parts and tools that I was going to keep in a sealed compartment on my boat to always have as my boat tools and all my boat spare parts and then still be out there on the water and misdiagnose what's wrong with it or not be able to figure out the problem. That just doesn't make any sense to me. But that's just me. My experience with my bucket of tools is kind of what makes me embrace the type of thinking that I have about the tools that I bring with me out of my boat. And for me, whether I'm going out on my really big boat or I'm putting my little 2.5 horsepower two-stroke on my really little boat, I essentially take the same batch of tools with me on every one of those trips. And the tools I bring with me is this. That's it. It's a Swiss Army knife. It has a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and a knife, and a couple other things. So you might be asking yourself, why a Swiss Army knife? The only part of it I actually expect to need to use is the blade. And because my thinking is, one of the things that could stop me out there in the water is a line getting caught in my prop. Whether it's off of a crab pot in my big boat, or it's a bunch of fishing line getting wrapped around the prop of my little boat. I think that is something that could really hang me up. And being able to cut that line to get it off of my prop or get it off from being entangled up in my boat is what I'd really need to be able to do out there on the water. If I can't fix the problem with my Swiss Army knife, then I use my other tool. This is my other tool, a VHF radio, or my cell phone, depending on where I'm boating. Because if I can't fix it with a Swiss Army knife, I'm just gonna not worry about it. I have an alternate way to get back to shore 
usually, unless I'm in my big boat. If not, I just call for help and I'll figure it out later on. That's what I do. That's what works for me. And quite frankly, I think a lot of it comes down to your personality, how handy you are, and what level of risk you want to take. I think it's Ben Franklin who said an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And I love that saying because I think what it means basically is to doing preventative things rather than trying to repair something. And if you think to yourself about something like a, uh, the belt or the water separator uh, on your boat, why not just change those before you go out? I could safely change those two components right here in my yard or in my marina, and then I know I've got a new belt and I've got a new water separator on my boat when I'm running out there. Rather than trying to bring those spare parts with me and the tools to be able to change those on the fly, wouldn't it make more sense to just take care of those at the beginning of the season, or if I think that they're bad, by checking them out periodically, rather than trying to have all of that stuff with me when I'm out on the water. So earlier in the video, I mentioned the poll, and I had conducted a poll on my channel where I asked, what boat repair tools do you have on your boat? And less than 20% of you said that you had a complete set of tools and spare parts with you on your boat. Less than 20%. That means more than 80% of you either carried a few tools or no tools at all. And I was actually kind of surprised by those results because I have typically embraced this minimalist approach because I always feel like whatever the situation is gonna happen out there in the water, I'm gonna be missing the tool or the part that I need to be able to fix things if I can correctly diagnose it. So what tools do you bring with you on your boat? Put that in the comments below. Also, do you think I'm crazy for the amount of tools that I bring with me on my boat? Put that in the comments below as well. Everybody has a different way of looking at this. And uh, believe me, I do learn stuff all the time. And some people have a very specific kind of toolkit that they bring with them. And I do too. Mine just happens to fit in my pocket. So yeah, I just use my trusty little Swiss Army knife. You know, another thing, this video right here is one that you should check out. It's very good. Watch this one next. Go ahead, check it out.